Hi friends, hope you all are fine and doing good. Uh, myself, Ram Raju from Aon Excellence. Um, Aon Excellence will, provides SAP trainings and SAP support. Uh, we are starting new uh, series of SAP trainings and we are starting with SAP material management module. In this, we will cover all processes related to material management from scratch uh, presently, we are starting uh, our first session with SAP overview and this will provide basic understanding of SAP and ERP. So, uh, let us start the session. So, in today's session, uh, we are going to uh, learn uh, understand the following processes. Introduction to ERP, Introduction to SAP, Basics of SAP, Regarding SAP modules, what all modules available in SAP, how we will use those modules, and what is the system landscape of SAP, and any questions, if you have any queries, if you have anything, you can uh, comment us, comment and you can reach us. Already we have given the contact details at the end of the uh, session. So you can reach us and you can write us. Okay. Yeah. You can see in each and every slide it is there. So you can reach us at aonexcellence at gmail.com. Okay. Now. Uh, what is ERP? So ERP is, uh, it's ERP means it's a full form of ERP is Enterprise Resource Planning. It is a software application which can capture the information related to uh, all business processes of a business with full integration between the all business processes. There are a lot of ERPs available in the market. Some of the ERPs are like we are talking about SAP. Oracle, Intuit, FIS Global, and Microsoft. Other than this, lot of ERPs available. Uh, these ERPs will be used to uh, provide the complete information captured and use the information as per the requirement in a business process. It may be manufacturing, it may be um, uh, any, any type of uh, industries it can be used, retail, anywhere it can be used, oil and gas. There are a lot of uh, industries. In each and every industry it can be used. Out of these all ERPs, SAP is one of the uh, familiar and uh, market share. If you talk about market share, SAP is capture the market share for this ERP industry. So what is SAP? SAP stands for systems, applications and products in data processing. SAP is the one of the leading ERP package which provides the integration between all the business processes of a business. So it's a pioneer in the industry as of today and they are growing and they are coming with new products and uh, they are doing very good. So SAP is one of the um, software packages which everyone is trying to learn and capture the scenarios. So how SAP is evaluated? Um, SAP is started uh, in 1972. So uh, the evaluation pattern is like they are started with a one layer server. After that, they are enhanced their scenarios and they are coming uh, coming to uh, R2, two layer. And after that, they are coming to three layer. SAP R3 is three layer uh, infrastructure and they are evaluating continuously. And after that, they are uh, releasing the versions of SAP R3 so like R3 3.1H and like that. So after that, they are taken enterprise edition and they are uh, released the enterprise editions as like last enterprise edition is 4.7 E and E means enterprise edition. After that, they are changed the scenario and uh, they are started 
um, they are stopped to release the versions they are started with enhancement packages from ECC it's like enterprise central component after this ECC 5 first released after that ECC 6 released after that they are starting uh, to provide the enhancement packages so this will provide uh, the information to the companies there is no need to re-implement every time they can update and they can use that enhancement packages and they can uh, made their system up to date after that and present latest version is sap s4 hana it's like till sap ecc um, sap uses oracle database from sap s4 hana they are using their own database hana is a database so they started their own database and they uh, started providing complete package from sap s4 hana onwards um, if you if you heard that I'm saying uh, SAP, I'm not saying as a single word SAP. So as per uh, scenarios, you we have to talk as a SAP. We cannot say it as SAP as a word SAP. So we can we we should not pronounce as a SAP as a single word. We should always pronounce it uh, as SAP. Okay. Okay, now we will come to the basics of SAP. Here, uh, SAP is used to maintain all the business processes, enterprise, all, all the activities under an enterprise. And it is divided into the, um, based on the nature of the work, it is divided into the modules. So each and every process, your department is having is individual modules. So in this, uh, SAP divided two things one is functional modules which covers all business processes based on their activity and their work and their nature of work basically and uh, they divided the other part as a uh, technical modules though who will uh, it team will take care of these technical modules the functional modules will be taken care by the respective departments okay so there are some modules where uh, like uh, if you see the functional, if you are talking about the functional modules, these are the, if anyone is working in finance, they will take care of SAP finance and controlling module. If someone is working for sales, marketing and logistics, so they can take care of sales and distribution modules in SAP. If someone is working for commercial, yeah, stores, yeah, purchasing, so they can take care of SAP material management. If anyone is working in production, so they can take care of production planning here we can um, work on how the material uh, productions will happen how the productions will be booked these all scenarios will be covered if anyone is working for the maintenance departments so they can uh, opt for uh, SAP plant maintenance and uh, next one is SAP QM quality management who is working in quality department can opt for this quality management and uh, the last but not least one, SAP HR, so human resources, whoever is in HR department, they can opt for this HR modules. These are the basic seven modules which covers SAP processes from long time. So as on today, the they, we, we evaluate like anything. So every module is having some um, advanced modules also. Okay, we will discuss in the later sessions. Just now we discussed about functional modules. Similarly, we have technical modules. What is the technical modules? Like SAP is a software. You all understand that. So uh, to run this software, there is programming language uh, used for running this software. Normally, you all heard about C, C++ and everything. So similarly, SAP is runs on SAP ABAP module. ABAP programming. ABAP is a programming language. The full form of ABAP is Advanced Business Applications Programming. So pro programming language which deals with SAP programming and SAP related uh, programs basically. And uh, one more technical module is SAP Basis. So I'm talking about the basic SAP modules and which is the base of SAP. So other than this, there are a lot of other things is also there. Once you are uh, conversed with SAP, then you will understand those things and we will discuss in further sessions. Okay. So this SAP basis module is deals completely with server management because whenever we are using 
in sap there will be a server so uh, the basis team will manage servers completely and data database whatever we are entering it will goes into the database so database management and backups these all things will be taken care by basis team other than this uh, there are two other uh, components in this module that is user management so who all will work in sap so they will get some authorizations to work based on their profiles so those things will be managed by sap basis team okay other than these technical modules there are some advanced modules like sap srm supplier relationship management and sap hcm human capital management sap crm customer relationship management and apo advanced planning optimizer these are the modules which is covered and used for the uh, extensions of the basic modules which we discussed in the earlier uh, slide okay after this we will discuss about sap system landscape if you see sap is a three tier architecture so it runs in three different uh, based on three different systems what we called is as a development environment quality environment and production environment normally whoever is uses in um, in the company whoever is uses that will be all the users will be access of production based on their job profile and their um, nature of job okay so the this landscape will use these two different systems development and quality these systems will be used by the consultants and it team members will be used these systems other than these it team members consultants and core team members all others will be used only the production system and other than production system they don't have any access to do the activities in the other systems like development and quality okay so uh, this can what when, if, if you take if i take example if anyone is having any requirement so they will reach to it team so it team ya consultants whoever is working for those modules they will uh, develop those new scenarios which is required by the users uh, in development server once it is developed then they will transport those developments into the quality and the quality server is given to the users to test the requirements which they are asked for once they test and found it is working fine then they will inform it team to move it to the production then these uh, changes will be moved to production once it is moved to the production then it will be available for the respective users based on their job profile their nature of activity and the authorizations given by the it team so this is the main uh, uh, the sap system landscape how sap will work okay so uh, we are uh, leaving here for today okay um i am giving the contact details here so you can connect us any time in this uh, gmail address anexcellence@gmail.com and just subscribe our channel and you will get uh, continuous videos uh, videos related to all sap modules as of now we are starting with sap metal management so if you have any queries you can write down and you can comment in our videos so we will come back and we will uh, provide the information and if anyone is having uh, if anyone wants to uh, take sap trainings online so please let us know and please write us so we will provide sap trainings and online batches are going on so as per your requirement we will start uh, we will incorporate in the respect to going batches so i hope uh, this session is helpful for you uh, and uh, please subscribe our channel ayan excellence okay and uh, please watch it what watch us so we are coming with uh, regular videos yeah that's it thank you thank you happy learning yeah bye